Well, Glenn, we've been working tonight to bring you the latest information on this breaking news. We know lawmakers who were called into a meeting here at the Department of Public Safety say they were told crimes were committed and an investigation is ongoing. 1.30 Thursday afternoon, leaders of the Alabama legislature met with a group of top state and federal investigators, including the FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office. Senate Republican Minority Leader Jabba Wagner tells CBS 8 News the meeting led by an FBI agent from Washington was brief. He simply said they had substantial evidence that there was public corruption involved with this bingo issue. He says the issue is referring to the Senate's 21 to 13 vote on Tuesday to allow voters to decide whether to regulate, tax, and limit electronic bingo. Members of both political parties voted for it. You yourself have not been approached to cut any deals or anything like that. I don't know of any criminal activity. Senate Democratic Majority Leader Zeb Little says he believes Governor Riley is behind the investigation. Governor Riley has used every trick in the book to prevent and deny the people of Alabama the right to vote on this very important issue. And this just looks like another dirty trick. Riley's press office responded to the allegations with this statement. Governor Riley was not even aware this meeting was taking place and that he had nothing to do with the investigation. And adds the investigation is being run by the Public Integrity Section of the U.S. Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. I'm confident Governor Riley could not influenced the U.S. Attorney's Office or the FBI from Washington to, to do this. And legislative party leaders say they were told by the FBI to provide them with any information concerning corruption involving the bingo bill. They said they would comply. Now, the big questions that still remain tonight, Glenn, is who exactly the FBI is investigating, what allegedly happened, and if or when arrests could be made. Glenn?